<laughs> it's my little blue green teal whatever you want to call it package from Vanessa finally it has arrived it took forever with everything like it is with the COVID so I hope everybody's doing fine um, I, I, I cheated I cut it open and then I thought oh no let me let me do a video it's a new new paint from Vanessa so here we go um, let me get my little package out here she always packages things so nicely and if you haven't seen any of my other videos for her <clears throat> she does the sprout creative um, she is a paint maker and she makes some beautiful paints a lot of them are the sparkly metallic um, paints and of course I find that the older I get the more shimmer I like <laughs> and that's her thank you card she always puts that in oh and this is a new one um, this is one of her paintings she um, always has one of those in there and of course my receipt and I ordered this during her Christmas sale and um, I had a set and four other colors in my cart and by the time I could get to check out there was only two things left so that's how fast her stuff sells out um, she has a massive following and it takes her a while to restock but she will be restocking soon but she still has some awesome things left so she sent me a little sample card um, forget me not sorcerer and rocky top pine so that it'll be interesting to try those actually one of her sample cards is why i bought um, one of these colors and this should be by you but i'm not seeing a name on it but you know what guys i don't have my glasses on lord help me um anyway let's get this out of the way for now and i'm going to use the same sheet that i did in the last video that i did a tester on um, to show y'all some of her other paints because the bayou is a green paint and i wanted y'all to be able to see the difference in these and in order for that to happen i am going to have to reach up here and look at that flip on a light and that will let y'all see the um as you can see the shimmer in those if you haven't watched now these are not shimmery this is a, <clears throat> a set that i got sea glass salt water and high tide and i love these they're soft um i love the colors they go well together this is like just a mix of the three of them you know running into each other so anyway let's get these open they do have magnets on them that's why they're sticking together and yeah by you this one will be by you and this is live oak so let's open this is like a brown i'm really anxious to see that i don't know who wraps her paints these little papers are awesome all right here's by you and it it looks like it's going to be um, somewhat similar to frog prints. I evidently have a thing for greens, y'all. And I never really thought of green as my favorite color, but I do find that I buy a lot of them. Ooh, and that's live oak. Okay, let's, um, oh! Here is my set I bought 
there just so y'all can see it, I bought it in the little tin and then <laughs> here is my tin <laughs> for all the rest of her colors that I have which are a few I, I like her paints so spray them with a little water to get them activated And we're just going to do Bayou right here underneath. Just that little bit of water I put on it is super creamy and coming up in the, in the brush. So, um, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Totally love it. All right, that is awesome. Holy mackerel. Okay, now let's just kind of wet a spot here. This is wet on dry. I'm going to wet this, even though it's still got paint in it. Um, because it dries differently, because the metallic in it, so I always try to do... A wet on dry and a wet on wet. And then we'll we'll put some more paint in there so that'll be heavy and then we'll let that dry and see how it does. All right. All right, that's by you. I love that. Okay, let's um clean the brush out and then we will go over here to live oak. And we'll do live oak. Oh my. Trees and rocks and landscapes. I can so see that. You know what? I'm going to carry this down a little bit so y'all can see. I'm going to make it lighter down here. So you can kind of see a tonal value. It's a red... A deep reddish brown more on the red side I love that it's awesome um, I'm trying to think almost like a maybe a brick red or an uh, is it Indian red that's kind of dark all right let's do a wet on wet with that and y'all this is just Canson XL paper this is not anything fancy I do all my swatching and practice stuff now see this looks browner this looks redder so I'm going to kind of tilt that and let it run and see what happens. Now I'm seeing some red. So it's almost like the the thicker it is, the redder it is, the, the lighter it is. It seems to have more of a brown tone to it. I sound very scientific, don't I? I haven't had my cup of coffee this morning, so... It's a miracle I can even speak. Okay. And then Sorcerer looks like it's going to be a metallic. Along with Forget-Me-Not. There was one. She had Blueberry Frost, I think. Was it Blueberry Frost? Or did I get that one? Blueberry Glitz. Y'all. I love it. And let's see. She was out. I was going to order another one because she was discontinuing. Here's my complete card. <laughs> we 
Where is Blueberry Glitz? Look at this. I don't know if you can see the color variation in that. It is a blue purple, and it was just gorgeous. This is Jack O' Lantern, um, Charming, and Lyra. And you can see the shimmer that they have. Um, then we have Magnolia. I love that soft color. Chesapeake Gray. Love that one. She sent me a sample of this one. In a, um, and then a, she sent me a sample of Bayou. And that's why I ordered it. Because I liked it so much. And as you can see, it's drying just like the sample did. And then... I'm not sure what those were. These are samples that I got. But I evidently didn't write them down. So this is her, her thing. So anyway, that's it. This one is, my table is slanted, y'all. Um, you can kind of see that red. Let me see if I can get this up here to. Can you see the red in there? And then that lovely brown. I, I really see where I'm going to be using that in trees <clears throat> and stuff. That's awesome. So. We'll let these dry for a little bit and then come back and show them to you completely dry. Okay, guys, it's had time to dry. I've had time to have a sip of coffee, which I desperately needed. And I just wanted to show you. Um, this is the Bayou. And I'm going to hold this up a little, turn it around, and all right, I'll probably have the writing upside down now. Um, Bayou is here, and as you can see, this is Frog Prints, and the colors are really similar, but the Bayou is definitely a darker, deeper um, base for the metallic sheen. Frog Prince is more of a gray, a light gray, and this is more of a darker blue gray underneath the, the gold shimmer. So there you can see the shimmer. There's the Frog Prince, and then there's that gorgeous pine needles with the blue in it. Um, so there you can kind of compare those three. That's why I wanted to keep doing it on this sheet. And then here's the live oak. Um, I'm, I'm in love with this. This is going to be such a wonderful color to use for tree bases or um, darks and rocks and stuff like this. You can see the granulation here um, of how it separates. You've, you've got some, looks like some black and some red and it's just it's beautiful to me. Um, and then this is the darker tone. And then as you get lighter. And then of course you can see over here the, the lightest of it. And let me see if I can get that where you can really see those tones in there. For the uh, live oak. There's a definite red base. Don't think this is just a blob of brown. It is not. It is it has got a gorgeous color to it. So there it is. That's that's my two I got from Vanessa. I've tried for more, I promise, but it just didn't work out. Um, check her out, Sprout Creative. Uh, she's on Instagram. She's on. Um, I don't know if she's on Facebook. Let's see if it says on her card. The SproutCreative.com. Um, I know she's on Instagram. So, and these are honey base paints, just so you know. Uh, that's why they re-wet so easy. Um, 
I love honey base paints. I started with Sennelier and and they are the same way. They're a wonderful paint that the only thing I'm going to tell you is if you use honey base paints and you wet your whole palette before you paint, let the whole thing stay open and dry before you close it, especially if you live in a an area with high humidity because honey based paints will mold so um i have never i've had my paints for six years now my sennelier's and i've never had an issue with that but i always leave them open until until there's no water in the palette um, so like this i'll take this out and dry this and then i'll just let it sit open for a while but um I, I love her stuff. I can't say enough good things about her. Um, she ships. It gets here fast. It always comes divinely packaged. So check her out. Hope you like her. Not getting paid for this. Just love her paints. So uh, Sprout Creative. And until next time, happy painting.